In uh, the cities, you always have a place uh, people don't use, uh, like uh, you know rooftops or basements. Uh, so that's why why we think it's very clever to come in a place like this basement to give uh, you know uh, a new life to this kind uh, of place. And we produce uh, five, six types of different uh, mushrooms and also uh, microgreens here in the basement of uh, Kuregem in Anderlecht. Uh, we have a few different species like uh, shiitake, eringi, oyster mushrooms, maitake, nameko, that's all Japanese mushrooms uh, and they all have uh, quite uh, a lot of particularity, they are very healthy. Every morning we, uh, we prepare uh, something like 30-40 orders for uh, restaurants. We have more than 200 restaurants in uh, Brussels. We try to do everything from A to Z. So we, we, we make our own substrate, we grow all the mushrooms, we sell it in restaurants, find out customers and everything. Producing the food in the cities increase a bit the resilience of the cities, but I think uh, we have to work always closely uh, with uh, the, the countryside. I don't think it's uh, always normal that you have, uh, you know, your food coming from uh, 10,000 kilometers. It will be much more local. Um, when I say local, I mean uh, Western Europe and less maybe than 500 uh, kilometers for 80% uh, of the food we consume. Urban agriculture is uh, more about uh, showing people how we grow food, it's more educational project. To spread uh, a bit uh, also the, the mushrooms uh, madness, you know, we have those uh, mushroom uh, kits, you know, so you can grow your own mushroom uh, uh, at house. My drive uh, is uh, to to have uh, success uh, in this project uh, with uh, our team and uh, also to, to make something smarter, smarter than the, the other, you know. That would also be uh, to relocalize uh, the, the food production uh, close to, uh, to Belgium and uh, Western Europe.